So, we're going to Nimr Abu Nassar Today, right now, right now. now. And we chose like Nimr because he has a good attitude, a perfect mentality, like he knows how to approach problems in a very funny yet wise way. And everyone loves him. Why did you establish your brand of comedy under the creed, no politics, no religion, one love? What was the purpose? I figured that if I do a, a, a comedy scene where there is none of the divisions and there's just talking about everything we have in common, which is society, money problems, relationship problems, driving problems, you know, everyday stuff, the stuff that matters, then I felt I could fill up more people in a room and remind them what they have in common. because. If you're Muslim, you're Christian, I'm just saying, I don't know yeah. what you are, but let's say you're Muslim, you're Christian, you're Jewish, whatever, and you guys are sitting together and I say a joke and all three of you laugh, guess what? It turns out you guys have that in common. What I do address and I have addressed in my shows on the radio, everything is I say, any political person in the country, yeah. fuck you. I've said that. But I do say one thing, I say, I'm not saying they're all bad. Some of them have good intentions. Who I think has good intentions, also a private matter. But some people believe other people have, who am I to judge who's wrong or right? In my opinion, some people have good intentions, but even those people, fuck you. Because you've joined a system that is part of the destruction of our country. And if you're gonna be in that system, you can't change the system. That's the rule of life. You know that saying, don't hate the player, hate the game? Yeah. Yeah, well, if you wanna change the game, you don't join it. If you wanna play basketball, you play basketball. If you want basketball to become football, you can't do that while you're playing, dribbling the ball down the court. You're gonna to have to go to the people who run the basketball association, the crowds who pay the money for the tickets for the basketball association, get the crowd to start demanding that basketball becomes like football and not paying unless it becomes like football. And guess what? Suddenly you've got basketball that's football, but you don't do that on the court. Politics is not, in my opinion, something that you can say is good or bad. Politics reflects society, you understand? Yeah. So if the political system is shit, society's pretty shit. At the end of the day, the way the country runs is decided by us. So, see what happens. You once said that you boycotted like the Lebanese media. Mm -hmm. That's still... Well, why? Because they follow... Certain... I believe Lebanese media is part of the cancer of this country. One of the major problems of this country. So I don't watch the news. I don't watch TV. That TV only has video games connected. I don't have LBC. I don't have anything. I surround myself with friends who don't talk politics, who don't discriminate on religion, and I'm living very happily. Peacefully. Peacefully, happily. I'm working on myself. I'm making myself a better person. I have my views. I have my opinions. And yes, of course, we talk about it when you want to talk about it. But it's boring, man. How, much, how long are you going to talk about Jumblot? Yeah. Are you going to talk about Jaja, Hariri, Oon, Hezbollah? How long? How long? Exactly. No, but how long? Like, event, just like six, seven, how long? Uh, most of the youth in Lebanon look up to you. It's because I'm really tall. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have words of wisdom to tell the youth? No politics, no religion, one love. That would be the only thing. If you live your life like that, you know, you'll end up making a lot of cool friends. You'll eat a lot of great food. If you're Christian, you'll love Ramadan. You know what I'm saying? And if you're Muslim, you'll love Christmas. No, wait, uh, I'm Druze. <laughs> I got the benefit of both. Druze, if you're, if you're Druze, you love Ramadan and Christmas. Yeah. You get to eat on both yeah, days. Exactly. You get invited to both holidays. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whenever you study, whenever you read, whenever you do something that makes you better as an individual, you're actually helping that change. It's not, change isn't opening up a Facebook page called change. Yeah. Change is about doing something to make yourself different to suit a specific goal. If you want this country to become better and you believe that the way it can become better is by you leading a life where you can be honest, then you work on yourself being a person of integrity. If you believe that to become a better country, you need to become deceitful, then you work on yourself becoming a more cunning adversary. And everybody, that's how you just work on yourself. And just by doing that, you're affecting change.